When you finish, Cathy Love, we'll go and have a look at the ewes. Some of them are due to lamb. OK. I expect we'll have our work cut out without Matt this time. We'll cope, eh? Jack, I'm going to Southampton today. Oh. I thought we'd had this out. I told you why. I don't like it, Cathy. You know what I think. You're dabbling in something you know nothing about. I'm just telling you I'm going. I'm sorry you don't like it. I'll be leaving in an hour. Come into the kitchen for a minute. But please don't try and stop me. I've heard everything you've got to say, you and everyone else. Well, come and have some breakfast. You can't go all that way without a decent breakfast. I thought you were coming for lunch, not breakfast. Yeah, I want to talk to you about George Starkey. I've laid him off. I know, that's why I'm here. Look, Kim, I'd have him back, but Dad won't hear of it. So I gather. Frank's the proverbial bear with a sore head. And ever since George came to the house, he's been in a terrible state. What happened? Wish I knew. I only saw the end when they were practically fighting each other outside the house. Fighting? Well, from what I could see, Frank was chucking him off the estate. So what's Dad said about it? Nothing. He won't talk. I've never seen your father in this mood. Believe me, it's quite frightening. Well, uh, I've no idea what it's all about. And I suggest you find out. Now? He won't tell you he's not likely to tell me. I'll ask George. He's outside. Hey? I'll leave you to it. What about your work here? You can't just up sticks. You've got responsibilities. I'll make it up to you later, I promise. Yeah, I'm sure you will, but what about the lambs? They won't wait. That's enough, Jack. We'll manage. How are you getting there? Train from Leeds. Right, come on. I'll run you to the station. Only if you promise not to lecture me on the way there. Would I dare? Mm. Come on, then. Take care. Thanks, Annie, I will. Bye. Jack? Let her work it out herself. If you try and stop her, it'll only make her more determined. <sighs> yeah. All right. Where have you been? Out. I can see that. Where? Just out, Frank. I see. Mind your own business, Frank. Don't be silly. I don't have to tell you every time I go into the village, do I? What, at eight in the morning? It all seems a bit mysterious to me. There's no mystery. Look, this is silly. You've been like this ever since George was here. Now, either you tell me what it's all about or stop treating everyone so badly. I wasn't aware that I was. I've got work to do. Seeing you like that, Mr. Turner, makes me look an old lot better. I reckon I'm fit enough to do a good day's work. <laughs> when did you ever? Ah, don't be like that, Mr. Turner. Weren't me that threw you off my back. What did the doctor say? He said it's, um, it's concussion and uh, a bit of bruising. I've got to take it easy for a day or two. But my problems aren't so much medical as social now, if one or two things come to pass. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, perhaps that's as well. What's that champion off, then? It's a combination of a, an idiot driver and a, and a learner driver. Oh, get that, will you, sir? It'll, it'll be the new girl. Come on, Lou. I don't know, forgive the state I'm in, my dear. It's an altercation with the horse. Try and jump in out for Grand National, will you, Mr. Turner? I'm sorry. Thank you. And a little sympathy wouldn't come amiss from you, Seth. Oh, well, this is Seth Armstrong, by the way. Hello, love. Hey, good at first aid. Seth, if you really are well, let's have some work out of you, shall we? Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, my dear. You see? He wasn't serious about first aid, was he? I thought I just had to be able to type. <laughs> we didn't want to take any notice of old Seth. <laughs> right. Now, you, you work for me. Secretarial duties, helping out at the fish and game farm, that's all you've got to worry about. As long as you remember that, well, we'll get along splendidly. <laughs> now then, let's get you started. Fine, Mr Turner. What would you like me to do? Uh, you see that cash box on the table? Yes. Uh, open it. Take some money out. And then pop down to the shop and get me some biscuits. <laughs> Have a seat, George. Tell the truth. 
I wanted a word about having you back. I understand you went to see my father. Yeah. Well, you blew it, George. By all accounts, you had one hell of a row. I want to know what it's about. You'd better ask him. I'm asking you. You're the one who went to Home Farm and started this whole thing off. No, <laughs> oh, you did that when you elbowed me. All right. But if you hadn't gone to see him, you'd be back on the strength now. So what happened? Just forget about it, will you? You wouldn't like it. Let me be the judge of that. If it's something concerning my family, I want to know. Tell me. I can't. Yes, you can. For Pete's sake, man, it's got to the point when it's worse not knowing. Just take it from me. It isn't. Come on, I've got a right to know. Yeah, I suppose you have. But you better understand, that's why I'm telling you. I don't want to. Get on with it. Well? It's about your father. When your mother was dying, he helped her on her way. Put her to sleep, however you want to call it. I don't believe it. It's true. How do you know? They had him asking the doctor for some pills. The next thing we know, your mother was dead. That's just coincidence. <laughs> then why, why is Frank behaving the way he is? I reckon he's got something to hide. And that Kim isn't as innocent as she pretends either. They were in it together. Do you realise what you're saying? Of course I do. I told you you'd be upset. Upset? I'm more than upset, it's sick! Just ask yourself, why did she marry you, mate? 30 marrying 50, the boss's secretary. She knew how much he was worth. Couldn't wait to get her hands on his money. Get down. I warned you. I said, get out! You wanted to know. Don't blame me. Don't believe it. What is it? Look, see these marks? Some stallion has covered this mare. Those are bite marks. Well, that's good, isn't it? You don't have to send them away now. It's not quite as simple as that. God knows who's done it. This is a disaster. Can we take a letter, Elsa? Yes, Mr Turner, but don't go too fast. I don't do shorthand. Right. Now, are you ready? Mm -hmm. uh, dear Mr Wilson, Further to your letter concerning your order for quail's eggs, I wonder what the chances of conception are. Sorry? Between a stallion and a mare. And it's even when a mare's ready, it, it's a tricky process, as you can imagine. And some of them I've seen, you just wouldn't credit it. The, the stallion's got to be square on, you see. Now, sometimes you even have to give him a hand, if that's what's necessary. And uh, was he? Square on, I mean. Well, that's just my point. I don't know. With a bit of luck, he, he didn't make proper contact. So the chances are your horse isn't about to become a proud father. I sincerely hope not. That's the last thing I want. And don't you go spreading it around that he is. Well, I wouldn't. Well, I've got to face it. Champion has committed the worst social gaffe in Beckendale for years. Are you still on for me, Dean Christopher? Look, I don't know. I've got to sort this lot out. OK. okay. Is there anything I can do? No. Look, I'm sorry I didn't mean to snap. It's just this could be disastrous. You don't have to apologise, love. It's me who should be apologising to you. It doesn't matter, Frank. I just wish whatever it is, you'd share it with me. Apart from anything else, I feel so left out. I'm sorry. Look, it scares me to see you like this, and then you won't let me help. I told you there's nothing to worry about. Now, are you going to come to lunch or not? Hmm. Yes, look, just let me have a couple of minutes to make these calls, then I'll get changed. Oh, Nick, you startled me. Oh, sorry. I uh, saw old Tubby going over the road to the Woolpack, so I knew the coast was clear. Yeah, I think he's only gone over there to get some sympathy with his injuries. Oh, yeah, so he had his arm in his sling. What happened? Did you hear? He fell off champion while he was out riding. It's quite funny, really. He lost the horse, and when he found him again, he was in a field with Mrs Tate's mares. You don't say. <laughs> Joe, I've just spent the last hour listening to Mrs Tate raging on about how some idiot stallion had its wicked way with her mares. <laughs> she's going bananas. You wait until she finds out it was his stallion. It's terrified she's going to. She's out looking for a vet now. Well, I'm not going to be the one to tell him. <laughs> 
Did you want something? Oh, I just wondered if you wanted to go to the Woolpack for a drink. I can't really. I've got too much to do. Besides, Mr Turner's in there and it wouldn't look very good on my first day. No, true. Right, <clears throat> well, I'll uh, leave you to it then. Well, I'll be in there later. I said I'd meet Rachel, so I'll see you then if you're going. Yeah, right, well, I'll see you then. See ya. Are you going to say anything to Mr Turner? Oh, no. Let him sweat. <laughs> see ya. Christopher? Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. Did you talk to George? Yes, I saw him. And? Nothing, really. What do you mean, nothing? The row was about nothing, or George didn't say anything? Well, both, really. He just lost his temper with Dad. I can understand why. I fired him for the stupidest reason. So you're saying it's all your fault? Right, so. I don't believe a word of it. And neither do you. It doesn't even go halfway to explaining why Frank's still in an awful mood. I don't know. Sorry, I've had enough. You'll have to ask him. Oh, you've had lunch. Not really. Couldn't face it. Look, I'm sorry. I know we're supposed to be going out. But I've just got so much to do. Do you mind if I take a rain check? Yes, I do. Frank's waiting outside. I'd rather not. Well, you can come out and explain to him why you're standing him up. Well, just tell him I'm busy. Is that all it is? Are you hiding something? All right, I'll come. I thought I told you I didn't want to see that bloke around here again. Don't worry, he's only collecting his stuff. You all right? Yeah. Yes, I'm fine. Hungry. Where are we going? Surprise, surprise. Afternoon. Hello. What can I do for you? Cathy, she wasn't at a cottage. Uh, I'm hoping she's here. She's gone to Southampton to see that woman. Oh, no. That's a really made my day. Yeah, mine too. She's left me in the lurch. Her ewes have started lambing, so you'll have to excuse me. Do you mind if I come and have a look? No, I don't mind. Haulage business a bit slack, is it? No. <laughs> No, not a bit of it. But let's just say it's good to be able to get away from it for a while, if that's all right with you. Like I said, it's OK. It's this way. <coughs> Elsa, get that, will you? TBA Fish and Game Farm can help you. Could you hold the line a moment, please? It's Mrs Tate. What? She can't have found out already, you told her. It's about a dinner date for the secretary of the Demdale Hunt. Oh, I'd forgotten. Why didn't you say? She wants to know whether you're going. Oh, yes. Well, well no. no. Well, should I? I? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Well, just let me think. Do you want to talk to her? No, no, no. Say, say, say I've had an accident. Shall I only ask what? Well, yes. Tell her yes. I can always cancel it later. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mrs Tate, but that's confirmed. Mr Turner will be delighted to attend. But don't overdo it. Goodbye. Wouldn't it be far easier to own up? For someone who only came to look, you're certainly taking the part seriously. You said to yourself you're short-staffed. I know what that's like. Yeah. And with respect, delivering lambs isn't quite as simple as driving lorries. Who said that was simple? <laughs> Didn't Jackie ever tell you? Yeah, and he should know. He did both. Sorry, stupid of me to talk about it. Why? We do. Just because he's dead doesn't mean we've forgotten him. No, of course not. I didn't mean it like that. 
He worked for us once or twice, but I didn't, didn't know. Well, now you look the business, we might as well get on with it. There'll be times when I want to you. Hello. Sarah, meet our new shepherd for the day, Christopher Tate. Hi. Makes a change from axle grease. You're back early, aren't you? I'm going out, remember? You're looking after Robert. Well, that's what we agreed. That was before lambing started. Oh, no. Sorry. Can't you ask Annie? I'm always asking Annie. Anyway, that's not the point. We're supposed to be taking turns. Well, I can't, can I? kathy has gone. It's only luck. I've got Christopher. Why does this always happen when I'm going out? Don't ask me. Ask the land. That's it, Domino's Amos. I'm going to have a lesson from Master. <laughs> Where are you going? Moulton Silver Learning's got a competition on. Look with my Domino's, you're not. He's having you on, Amos. It won't be allowed in Moulton Silver. We're only going in tap room. Oh, to play dominoes, you're bad pot. But you're always playing here. What's the matter, Zon? Do you have a change? I don't know why you should want a change. This bar will be empty if everyone goes in tap room. <laughs> Maybe they want to listen to jukebox. After all, it is their kind of music. I wouldn't be surprised if he was in league with those ewes. Sarah's going out. See what you can do. Well, you can't blame him, can you? <laughs> no. But there's always something, isn't there? Well, you've got to realise that... Farming is a 24-hour-a-day job, especially at lambing. But I'm not a farmer, not even a farmer's wife, and I do have a life. Or I did. I could come round and look after Robert. Oh, no, I wasn't hinting. I no, mean... No, you weren't. I don't mind. I've nothing else to do. Well, if you're sure. Of course I am. Off you go. <sighs> Feeling guilty about this now. I'll change my mind if you're not careful. Uh, on my way. Thanks again. So, did you enjoy your first day at work? Mr. Turner spent the whole time worrying about horses, and I spent most of my time making endless cups of tea and coffee. Yeah, that's Alan Turner for you. Isn't that right, Seth? He's a lifetime studies, Turner. Are you playing and talking to him? Hang them both, me, I'm ambidextrous. What that scene to? Right, well, whose round is it? It's mine, but you're going to have to go. Well, I'll have a pint, all right? Hey, Mark, you're supposed to be drinking orange juice. Oh, come on, Rich, one pint's not going to kill me. Don't we have a bit of bush? I can't hear myself think. Yeah, come on, a bit of horseshit. You heard the man. Yeah, this is serious stuff. Hey, don't you be so cheeky, lad. Hey, are you playing a talking to him? Right then, if you're getting this round, give me one, eh? There you go. Thank you. Ah, you've got him on the run, sir. Get out of it. <laughs> yeah. Double a quid. I think you may be right. Driving lorries is easier. Don't worry about it. We always have our fair share of them still, boy. Pack it in if you want. I only dropped by to talk to Cathy. But this is very interesting. No. No, I'll stick it out. If it's not dead lambs that are upsetting you, I'd lay odds there was something else. Yeah. There's nothing much I can do about it. Well, it's your business, of course. But I'd be concerned if it had anything to do with Cathy. No, it hasn't. No. I just needed someone to talk to. You got lumbered with me. Sorry about that. Can't be helped. Oh, I'm glad you're here. I'd be strapped without you. So, do you think you'll enjoy working for him? It's harmless enough, and the work's quite interesting. Provided I get to do more than make teas and coffees. Yes, I think I will. Well, I would like to work for him. I think he's a bit of an idiot. Yeah, you're right, he is. But then again, I'm biased. Oh, to think I never became his stepson. Just imagine it. I had a lucky escape. <laughs> My mum got up just inside. Well, if she hadn't, I wouldn't be working, so I'm glad to. <laughs> Yeah, you're home and dry, sir. No, 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 not you again. Oh. Come on, Nick, get him in. It's your bow. Mark! <laughs> Hi, Dad. I think you've had enough, young man. Hey, what are you doing, eh? Must serve him myself out. Oh, strongest tip on that lad, that is orange juice. <laughs> There's no to do with me. Come on, out. Come on, Dad, I'm having a good time. Out, not on these licensed premises, you lot. 
You too, Rachel. Come on. Dad. Come on. We're not stopping neither. Where are you going? Both of them. Ah, you won't need our dominoes then, will you? One way or another, Amos, you're losing customers. Now, if you were to change the music on that jukebox... Oh, thank you, Nick Bates, to keep your opinion to yourself. Quickly found the nearest to town. When money's tight, you can't afford to lose any of them. Do you have to get the vet in? Yeah, he costs and all. Still here, then? I thought you'd gone out. But you didn't come back. It's up to the you now. Come on. Come on. She's got to do the rest. Did you have a good time? Not half as good as you, by the look of it. I got stood up. Mary's got the flu. <laughs> Something to this farming business, after all. Is she all right? Oh, she's not going to accept it. And this little fella's not looking too clever. He needs some milk. Well, what about his mother? That's you now. Jack! Keep it warm and give it some milk. Suits you. Oh, for goodness sake, what if it, well, you know, makes a mess? It will. Jack! <laughs> so, are you sure you don't want another drink? No, thanks. Oh, well, just some crisps or peanuts. No. Well, this is nice. Yeah. It's a pity about Mark. I hope he doesn't get into too much trouble. Oh, he'll be OK. Uh, do you fancy coming back for a coffee? I'd love to, but my mum will be picking me up from here at half nine. Oh? Uh, why? Well, she always does. Or Michael. I'm not allowed out late. Well, doesn't that get in the way of your social life? It does a bit. So, if I were to ask you out on a date, You'd have to be home by about half nine. Afraid so. I see. Sorry. Oh, uh, well, never mind. I can cope with that if you can. You mean you're asking me out? Yeah. Oh, great! See ya. Yeah. I'm going to my room. I've never been so embarrassed. Yeah, me neither. Why did you have to do it, Dad? Hey, when you're 18, lad, I'll take you out drinking and we'll do it properly. That'll make you think twice. Yeah, but it wasn't very fair dragging me out in front of my mates. I mean, how am I going to face them again? <laughs> it's the least of your worries. Well, what with this and your, your escapade not the other day? It doesn't look very good, does it, Mark? What's going on here? Just rescued my son from Amos Brearley's tap room. I'm not drunk, I. Right? I should think not. I must say I'm surprised at Amos. Yeah, well, it just bears out what I've been saying, doesn't it? Mark should come and live with me. Why don't you ask him, then? Well, how about it, then, son, eh? You come and stay with me while your mum's away? Well, you can bring your bike if you like, and perhaps we're getting a bit of shooting. I don't know. Well, I think you should, Mark. It'd be a good change for you to be with your dad for a bit. Well, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I'll think about it. 